on fantastic so oh my god that pimple so today is a new tasting video i am gonna taste every marie calendar's frozen meal i can find i have taste tested so many frozen meals in my day but i've never tried marie calendars on video of course i've had it here and there throughout life but not all at once and not all of them that's for sure so it's gonna be a lot of fun but first hit that subscribe button to become a juicy tomato also wait real quick look at these new barbies i got y'all they're by Yves Saint Laurent. By the way, y'all, I am on Cameo, so if you want a video shout out from me, for yourself, or a friend, it's cameo.com slash Timmy Tomato. And I do good ones. I'm not one of those people that's like, hi, <laughs> bye. I actually want to learn about you guys and actually, you know, make you guys a fun little selfie style video. So I'll sing for you, I'll dance, whatever. I'm about to go to the store and get me a ton of Marie calendars, y'all. Let's go. There's so many options. Oh my gosh. Okay, I definitely have to get the spicy buffalo style mac and cheese bowl. Oh my God. Ooh, sweet and spicy chicken noodle bowl. Slay me. Gotta get this Thanksgiving vibe in here. It is November after. After all, I feel festive. Got some fettuccine Alfredo with broccoli. I don't know why every brand puts broccoli in, in their delicious pasta. We don't like it. <laughs> Stop it. Country fried pork and gravy. Ooh, that's gonna go straight to my ass. Ooh, we gotta get the sesame chicken bowl. Oh, it's like breaded. I'm slayed. Chicken tenders and mac and cheese. We'll try the beef pot roast. Why not? Oh, y'all, this is gonna be a lot. <laughs> I can't get every single one because that, that would be a whole lot of money. <laughs> Okay, so I don't want to see no comments saying, but you didn't get every single one. I eat the Jadon Dion caviar one. I didn't see that one in there. The world doesn't revolve around you and your caviar. It revolves around me. <laughs> Cheesy chipotle rice and beans bowl. Okay. Okay, y'all, I got 10 different options. I am going to go and taste it all. Okay, so <laughs> it's a few days later. I was gonna film the other day, but then I got really tired. So I was like, okay, I'll just film later. So now it's another day. <laughs> Anyways, I just microwaved all of the Marie Callender's meals. Okay, so this is the spaghetti. Ooh, liquidy. This is some sort of an Asian noodle bowl. Um, I'll tell you guys all the specific names afterwards. Ooh, looks kind of good. The beef pot roast. Ooh. Oh, okay. I wish there was more beef and it didn't look like that. Now this one's real hot. This is the buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Oh my God, that looks so good. And that's not blue cheese. That's like a cheese with like a seasoning on it. If it was blue cheese, I would not have bought this. Okay, that looks delicious. And I love buffalo stuff. Y'all know this about me. Oh, and here we have, I think sesame chicken. It has breaded chicken in it, which looks so good. Oh my God. Here we got the chicken tenders and mac and cheese. Ooh, that looks delicious and gross at the same time, but more delicious. Now I have tasted like one or two of these in the past, but most of them I have not. So I'm really excited. The country fried pork and mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh, y'all know I'm a gravy loving American ass bitch. There's so many meals, you guys. Okay, this is like the Thanksgiving dinner type of thing. Ooh, oh. Okay, the turkey's not what I expected. It looks kind of crusty, but that's okay. We're all crusty down here. I think we're all crusty. <laughs> this is the fettuccine chicken alfredo. Just needs some mixing, but ugh. is that done? Yeah, it's done. It's like hot. By the way, this is not sponsored, obviously. <laughs> so this is like a Mexican bowl. The sauce smells really, really good. Let's start eating. Well, first I'm gonna get that thumbnail, girl. Okay, let's begin. So yes, these are all pretty much cold, so I'm gonna heat them up before I taste them for like 30 seconds or something. So anyway, what should we do first? Oh my God. Let's do the roasted owl. Oh my God. So this is the roasted turkey breast and stuffing. It is only 280 calories for the whole thing. That is so low. That's like less than a link with him. That's insane. And the size is pretty good. Um, it has seven grams of total fat, five grams of sugar. Let's taste it, but first let's heat it up. Here's proof that I'm heating everything up. I love the beat of the microwave. <laughs> so let's just get the vegetables over with. Horses would love it. I don't. <laughs> Let's taste this turkey with some of this watery gravy. Mmm. It looks nasty, but the turkey's really good. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> Let's taste the mashed potatoes with the gravy. Oh. 
very flavorless mashed potatoes. By the way, this is my personal opinion. This is my personal review. So if you disagree, do your own thing, girl, okay? You might love some of the things that I don't, whatever. I'm just clarifying that for your sensitive ass. Let's taste the stuffing. Now, y'all know I'm not a big stuffing fan, so I'm probably not gonna love it, but whatever. For frozen stuffing, that is pretty good. That's not bad at all. So I think I'll give this Thanksgiving meal a seven out of 10. The turkey, like the actual turkey is so delicious that it saved the whole thing. It's really good, so seven out of 10 tomatoes. Oh, I burnt myself. Now let's do this sweet and savory sesame chicken bowl. Ooh. It is 460 calories, which is not horrible because it is like a fried chicken in there. So it's not that bad. It has 14 grams of fat and 21 grams of sugar. Ooh, you sound like a little sweetheart. <laughs> a little sweet ass bitch. Okay, so I'll heat it up. Let me mix it up a bitch. Ooh, a bitch. <laughs> Can I just say, let me mix it up a bitch? <laughs> I meant to say, let me mix it up a bit. Okay. So these noodles actually look delicious. They're like kind of like sticky. I like that. Let's first taste these noodles with the sauce. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. The sauce is a little frozen food tasting, but the noodles are great. Great texture. I love it. Now let's taste this fried chicken that looks so good. In my opinion, that texture is really weird. I was expecting so much more from this, so in my honest opinion, I don't like it. I'm gonna give it a four out of 10 tomatoes. You are not that bitch. Next up, we're gonna do the spaghetti with meat sauce. The whole thing is only 350 calories. It has seven grams of fat and seven grams of total sugars. Very low calorie. Like y'all, the calories on these meals are very impressive, especially because they're a bigger size than most healthy frozen food meals. Spaghetti time, Italiano! Oh, that's a spicy meatball. Oh, that's a spicy asshole. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I had a lot of frozen spaghettis in my day, and I would say this is one of the better ones. Some of them are too saucy. This one's not. It like coats the noodles perfectly. The meat actually tastes really good. It's almost like a ground up meatball flavor. That's a good basic spaghetti with some Parmesan cheese and some French bread, y'all. That could snatch. It could. Next up, we're doing the cheesy chipotle rice and beans bowl. It has rice, black, and pinto beans. Love that. I love me some beans. Make my ass burp, burp. Red bell peppers and fire roasted poblano peppers in a cheesy chipotle sauce. I feel like all this is missing is some meat, but it is a good option for vegetarians. It's 370 calories, and it has 11 grams of fat and only three grams of sugar. Ooh. Okay, so this sauce looks kind of like a nacho cheesy type of chipotle thing going on. Usually I don't like corn or peppers with like my rice and my beans and all that stuff. I just like rice and beans by itself. So I don't know if I'll like this. We'll see, maybe it's really good. Whoa, that sauce is powerful. It has great flavor, it's kind of spicy. Um, the rice and beans taste great, but I personally don't like corn and peppers in my rice and all that stuff, so it's more of a personal preference. Like, I wouldn't get this because I don't like that. But if you like corn and peppers, I think you will love this, like love it. Great flavor, it's just not my thing. But what I do love about it is that most frozen brands, when they try to make like a Mexican inspired thing or like Latin inspired, they always add so much cilantro and it takes over the whole flavor. But with this, I don't taste any cilantro. So so that's that's a big plus for me cilantro is good in small amounts rain but when it takes over I'm like no so in my opinion I'll give this like a 5 out of 10 but for everyone else I think this is like a 9 out of 10 this is a great little little bowl thing going on it's really good very cheesy also next up, ow! Next up we are doing the country fried pork and gravel brother pork butter with grandma muscle potatoes and a homestone gravel y'all that's a classy person trying to read the KFC menu <laughs> well it's the calling on so this is 430 calories. It has 22 grams of fat, one gram of sugar. Okay, so a lot of fat, little sugar, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, I have had this a lot of times because I really like it. <laughs> Y'all know me, I will shove gravy up my ass if I could, but that's dangerous, don't do that. So let's first taste the mashed potatoes and gravy, which I've had before. <laughs> It's actually really good. I just don't think I cooked it all the way. I don't know why, whatever. But I've had it before, and when it's cooked all the way, it's so good. So now we're tasting the pork patty, y'all. It's thick. Like, that is a thick daddy. I love all the breading. I'm just flopping off. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. 
Ah! I've had it before, I'll have it again. It's delicious. It almost tastes like a restaurant, like breaded pork type of thing, but more chicken nuggety. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Mm-hmm. Next up, we're doing the beef pot roast. It's tender beef with vegetables and savory gravy. It is only 200 calories. This whole thing, 200. That's insane. I think that's amazing, slamy. It has 4.5 grams of fat and five grams of sugar. Okay, not bad. Now to fully experience a pot roast, I feel like you have to taste everything together, like everything all in one bite. So let me get a little piece of potato, some carrot, some meat, and some onion. We don't need celery. Celery, we don't know her. Definitely tastes healthy. That's not a bad thing. It's actually kind of refreshing. In the sea of trashy frozen food, to have something taste fresh is actually good. The meat is not as bad as it looks. It actually tastes pretty decent. I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10. Not bad at all. <gasps> okay, y'all, we have four left. Let's do the chicken Alfredo. Okay, this is 440 calories, which is actually pretty low for like a fettuccine Alfredo. Um, it has 20 grams of fat, ooh, three grams of sugar. Okay. Let's heat it up, bitch. I feel like bringing spears. Let me see. I'm just gonna skip the broccoli because that will affect my judgment. I hate broccoli and um, Alfredo's. It's gross. Let's taste the noodles. Mmm. 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 That is one of the best frozen Alfredo's I've ever had. A lot of um, frozen Alfredo's are very watery or very weak flavored. This one's good. It's a little sweet and the sauce is like pretty thick. It like sticks to the noodle, which is really nice. Let's taste the chicken now. Not bad. So this is really not bad at all. It's pretty good. I think I'll give this an 8 out of 10. I expected it to be honestly gross, like disgusting, like trash. We have three left, oh my god. Okay, let's do the chicken tenders and mac and cheese. So this one I have tried before, but only like once. So I don't remember the taste that well. Um, it is 590 calories, so it's the most so far. It has 25 grams of fat and 10 grams of sugar. So kind of a lot of sugar, a lot of fat. But y'all, does that not look worth it? That looks worth it. I would spend all my fat on you. <laughs> well, please take my fat. <laughs> Let's first taste the mac and cheese. Oh yeah, that looks so good, you guys. That's like a thick mac and cheese. Like that sauce is like legit, y'all. Mmm. That's one of those good mac and cheeses, y'all. In terms of frozen mac and cheese, this is one of the best there is, in my opinion. The noodles are amazing, the sauce is amazing. Oh my god. Now taste the chicken. Mmm. Mm. You know what it tastes like? It tastes just like Burger King's old chicken nuggets. I think that they changed their recipe and now they have new chicken nuggets. This is like their old ones, like with the salt and pepper on them, you know what I'm talking about? Mmm. I'm just snatched by this. This is like a 12 out of 10. Y'all, this is the best so far. We have two left. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, this is the sweet and spicy chicken and noodle bowl. So this is 330 calories. It has seven grams of fat, 15 grams of sugar. Okay, damn. We'll heat it up. It's nice and heated up. Now this one looks like it has a lot of sauce. Let's try the noodles. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Ew! Let's taste the chicken also. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> No mess my calendars, but Marie, what you doing, girl? It is so overly sweet and overly strong, and I just really don't like it. No offense, this is just my personal opinion, but to me, that is a two out of 10. Bye, girl. We are at the final one. I saved the one that I wanted to try the most for last. This is the spicy buffalo style chicken mac and cheese bowl. Oh my God, y'all know I love buffalo everything. 540 calories, 25 grams of fat. This is kind of small for that, y'all, but whatever and eight grams of sugar. Okay, let's heat it up, y'all. Ah! Ah! I got nervous and I farted. <laughs> okay, so there's like these like chicken nugget things on top. Oh my God, yes. And there's this like white cheese. <gasps> it's lamey. Okay, let's mix this up a bit. Ooh, I really hope it's good. And I was relieved to see that there's no blue cheese on it because y'all know buffalo stuff always comes with blue cheese. I'm like, why would you taint buffalo like that? We don't need your moldy ass cheese on our buffalo. Does my food look like the corners of the bathtub to you? No, I don't want mold on it. Okay, let's just taste the mac and cheese first. Oh my God, I don't know what came out of me. I was like a frog. Mmm. It literally tastes like mac and cheese with buffalo sauce mixed into it. I love that. Let's taste one of these little chicken nugget things dipped in all this sauce. Oh my God. Mmm, good chicken. Mm, with cheese on it. Oh yeah. Snatch every hair out of my vaginal canal. That is amazing. I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10. But my favorite meal that I tasted today 
was this one, just the normal chicken tenders with the mac and cheese, so good. Amazing, I cannot. So yay, Marie Callender's! It was kind of hit or miss. It was either great or just eh, but I'm snatched. This owned the video, y'all. I, I, I'm slain. So don't forget to go watch my other videos, y'all. I made a classy music video last week, so go check that out. And I made a gourmet ratatouille. So that was so much fun. I have another gourmet recipe coming this week. Also remember, I'm on Cameo, so if you want a video shout out from me, cameo.com slash chimmy tomato, okay? I'll see y'all next video. I love you so much. Ooh.